Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel and today we're not cooking but don't get disappointed we just I'm just giving you a tip for today because since the government already tell us to have a lockdown again the whole Ontario for four weeks starting on Saturday so we went for grocery and of course we need to buy more right and have you wondered sometimes our meats in the freezer got burned it's like it's, it's uh, not good anymore to eat to avoid that i'm going to give you a tips for today so what we need is cling wrap freezer bag and I'll show you what we bought today. So we have we bought pork chop, some steak, chicken breast because he likes his white meat. Ground beef. And some pork ribs. So, first, we're going to need this cling wrap. So, we're going to need a cling wrap. Just like that. Open the package and as much as possible, I don't want to touch the meat, but so you get get one each, and we're going to fold like that, and we're going to add another. So it's up to you how many pieces you need you need in every meal, right? So I'm packing two each. Just like that. Just overlapping, you can fold it again. And then fold it nicely. And if you have extra bag of this, then you can put it. This. As much as possible, too easy to stack on your freezer too. You can make it flat. Not too high. So I pack this. And one more benefit is or advantage by packing one one by one or piece by piece is it's easy to tow to tow when you need it. So they're not gonna stick together and you can take it one by one. In this way, even it's frozen, there's no ice or going in. So your meat is still safe. See? So look. And we're going to put in the freezer bag. And 
Make it sure there's no air on. See? And your meat is safe from freezer burn. Okay? So we're going to put the side and we're going to put all together later. And ribs is you this is very long. I just cut it in two portion. So it's easy to when you cook. It's just you can just put this. Of course we need to take it off the wrapping, right? And then put in your roasting pan. And I make it flat as much as possible so it's easy to stack onto your too because you know sometimes if not uh, good the packing and then we have a struggle how to stack in the freezer and we end up squeezing everything so again we're gonna put into here If you want to, you also can marinate or season all your food, uh, your meats, and then you can freeze them. So when you're ready to cook, you just, you don't need to thaw and then season it and then put in a set aside again and then you're going to, to cook. So when you season already and you can just put it straight on your pan or cooking pan or baking pan and then put in the oven all right so there's more and you also bought a roast beef so i'm already cut this in a half and then wrap them one by one and i'm gonna keep into the bag the same thing you're going to put into the freezer bag so when you want to cook one only then you can just take one and then put in your roasting pan you don't need to struggle to cut before you're going to cook them so you need you can cut them already and then pack and put in your freezer so with the same thing with the chicken breast we can they're they're huge so we can pack one each my paper towel in here so you can clean up your hand you don't contaminate all the meat together you can wash your hand too like that and make it sure there's no air and you can keep in the freezer bag okay. and make it sure the counter that you're working is clean Because we need to be very careful about handling the food. Especially meat is easy to contaminate. And you can put, you can pack two by two or it's 
okay if how many pieces that your meat is. so we have five pieces in here let's see And you have if you have a gloves you also can use gloves if you don't want to touch the meat but if you don't then you can just wash your hand make it sure it's clean before you handle any food so here we'll fit one more and we're going to squeeze it and make it sure there's no air And then lock but don't worry if you don't have a freezer bag you also can use um, plastic bag or anything just tie it up okay the same thing with this uh, steak we're going to pack one by one. And make it sure that you bought a uh, fresh cut meat. We're done packing this is the steak see there's no air and I put the two bag together in one bag it's easy to handle and the pork chop and it's airtight and the ribs pork ribs they all no air make it sure that there's no air because that is the space for being closed okay and the chicken breast and roast beef so one uh, there's two two portion in here so when we're ready to cook one because we only there are just two of us in here so one is enough and when we need to cook we can just take out one piece and then put in a roasting pan okay so we're ready to put in our freezer next is the ground beef so what i'm doing with the ground beef i'm not going to put all in the freezer like one piece like this because you know when you need just a little bit and then you need to thaw everything and that is not good so take out bring in take out bring in in the freezer and the meat is going to uh, you know we're going uh, it's not the good that you thaw and then refreeze again so what I'm doing is I need this saucer and again wrap and I'm going to do like this because I want that how much I need in one meal so you can use your uh, rice spatula And this is enough for two serving of spaghetti. When you make spaghetti and you need a ground beef. 
just like that. So this is enough for one recipe. You can flatten up as it's easy, so easy to put in the freezer bag. And it's easy to put into, to arrange into our freezer too. So we've done the ground beef. So the, there's four pieces in here. So I'm packing according to what, how much we need in one meal. So example, I'm going to make a spaghetti tomorrow. So I can just take up one. Or... If you need some something to add like uh, or maybe you want to make a shepherd pie you can take one or it depends how many how many people in your family how many members and then you can just uh, take according how much you need so so again I pack this according what we need because it's just two person in the house so and we need to seal it and to put in the fridge okay so uh, speaking of you can season some I have here a ground beef that I didn't pack I'm going to make um, patty burger patties so we have here and I'm gonna use oatmeal eggs fresh eggs from our chicken so we have three chicken and two of them are laying eggs so and we need two two teeth of garlic and a spring onion and a bit salt and ground black pepper to taste okay so we're going to mix all the ingredients First, we need to squash the garlic so it's easy to peel, just like that. Okay. So, repeat the, the rest. going to chop take care of the end because it is dry anyway so I'm gonna chop it careful you're cutting your finger we don't want to eat finger in with the, our food So we're done chopping the garlic and we set aside and our spring onion we just cut out the roots and toss it out and even into the end of the leaves and we can cut like that and we can put like this together squeeze it hold it tight and we're going to mince cut in a small pieces okay so we're done and we're going to put all into our beef so in this match we need two eggs at least and one cup of oatmeal so first we're going to put all our garlic
ground black pepper okay. let's see and salt about um, half teaspoon it's okay so we're gonna mix it And now the eggs. I'm going to keep all this eggshell so I can use into my plants later. So when you just put the soil in and then the seeds and then to germinate the seeds when it's ready to transplant you just bury this together into with the plants into the garden field mix up mix together again i'm doing this for my according to uh to my recipe and it's up to you guys you always can adjust it's only for rep for your reference to give you the idea if you make you want to make a, your own party uh, burger party for party for your bun and we call in the pilgrims hamburger hamburger with the buns already in everything i don't know how you uh, you're going to call it here but we call the meat ground beef alone but my partner call it hamburger but we always uh, argue that that's not a hamburger just that is only a ground beef it's only one one of the ingredients of the hamburger and our oatmeal Why I need to add oatmeal? Because it's make it and uh, adds up the consistency of the meat and the all. Because sometimes when you cook, when you're making your own party, and then uh, it's so messy. This this one will get, stay together just like you buying in the store. But at least you know what are the ingredients that you put in your food. So make it sure it's all mixed up. And of course, we're not going to cook today because we went outside and we got hungry. So we ate outside we went to a fish and chips i have fish and garden salad and he had uh, fish and chips you know fries and fish
okay i guess it's all done this one so what we're going to do is the same thing we're going to pack one portion each so when we need it we can just take it out piece by piece and we're gonna use it okay so since this one was put in the sink and again i need this also and the cling wrap okay see it's well mixed and we're ready to pack so this is enough for one bun Sorry about that, my camera just fell off, so. Okay, so we're going to, doesn't matter if you didn't put uh, properly, uh, when you cover it, then you can make the shape. This is perfect size of our burger. And onto that recipe, we made six equal size of patty. So we, now we can store into our freezer bag. So we're done and hope you guys have learned something new today or it, or maybe just adds up to your knowledge and not only for the for your meat that you can store like that because sometimes our so not only meat you can pack you also can pack your vegetable and tie it up so your vegetable is gonna uh, keep longer because especially this broccoli will only stay like two to three days and it's already start to appearing those black things and it's not good to eat and this um, bell pepper all kinds of vegetables you can wrap it up with plastic bag and then and then tie it up okay i'm apologizing because my camera is always full okay i'm sorry about that and thank you and i hope you learned something new today and keep safe everyone And if you haven't subscribed in our, my channel, please do and click like and you also can share. Thank you.